Hello everyone, welcome to a record session by Analysis Prime. I am Hedge Zangi, Expert Air Services Consultant at Analysis Prime. In this video, I will be going to show you how to use the range filter in SAP Analytic Cloud Data Analyzer. This feature is available from SAC version 2023.16. I hope to help you your future analysis in SAC. Today in this session talk about a data analyzer. Firstly, I explain what is data analyzer and uh, in the second I what is the feature about the range filter in data analyzer. In a demo show you how to use that and the last and not least we recap this session. SAP Analytic Cloud Data Analyzer help with ad hoc analysis based on SAP Analytic Cloud models, SAP Business Warehouse queries, SAP HANA Live views. Data Analyzer allows us to save our drill down data state and analysis as an insight. Ad hoc analysis is a powerful feature for business users needed to go deep into the data and that is possible in Data Analyzer. It's so common the business have a non-American dimension and the business users needed to, to have the select the, the data in an intelligent field. In some samples, it's uh, possible to see it in materials, organization, cost center ID, store ID, and others. In this sample, we needed to filter only star range between star 100 to star 106 like a differen differential star. In a second moment, I will add other range filter. In this case, I will uh, add the filter like uh, between star 201 to uh, star 203. And the last, I will use the clipboard and add another member to select in that. Now, let me show you how to use it. Now, we start to use the SAP Analytic Cloud Data Analyzer. Firstly, we needed to select the Data Analyzer. In this icon here, click in close the message box. We needed to select our model. In this case, I use to SAP best rent sales. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have the table data. In this table data, we I select the rows visualization. In a rows visualization, I needed to remove that, and for that, it's necessary to select one account member. In this case, I selected the cost. Now we have the, the column data in the cost. I selected the rows visualization in the star and click here. As you see, a lot of stories in your result set. The first filter we needed to create the range 
you click in the future dimension star star as you see have the top one filter by member and the filter by range in the first moment i change to display to uh, by id we have some operators available between not between greater than greater than and or equal to less than less than or equal to my first range i use between in a first parameter i put st one zero zero okay in the second parameter st one zero six if you see select member you have first range in the selected members clicking ok and here we go we have first range selection what we needed if you see the range display in this filter selection here okay now i click again because i needed to add a new range in this case i select it again and needed to add st two zero three click ok again after that uh, before that again take a look at the selected member we have two range two different ranges here and click ok and here you go again we have some different range in your result set now i click again because i will add another star st one one five and click ok take a look in the selected member we have a two different range filters and clipboard selection like this clicking ok and here we go we have the different selections in range and st115 night stop here now you see the different way by range filter add another filter for example or use the clipboard in the filter uh, selection too i hope this session will help you thank you for watching this video and see you in the next opportunity